open carrying of weapons uh, that happens in uh, in in Manipur. It, there is uh, attempts are made. Uh, you even mentioned about uh, recovery of arms have not happened, mm -hmm. but this open carrying of weapons, especially in front of the security forces when they come straight away, uh, when they are uh, carrying weapons, how how do how does the security force deal with it? Uh, did it happen during your time when you were posted there? And are you watching this increase with anxiety now? Absolute anxiety, Smita. It, it has never happened. Uh, armed groups openly challenging. There have been cases of uh, groups like, uh, I think, Arambai Tangol, actually pointing weapons at Assam rifle people, yeah. uh, openly carrying weapons. I mean, this, is, this has not happened. Which is why I am saying, uh, I am terming this as a, as a failure of the state and I am using these words very responsibly. The state has responsibility for law and order. You cannot have armed groups saying, we are policing our communities openly. Then what is the police meant to do? What is, uh, this is not something that, that you can uh, delegate to to armed groups. It's happening on both sides. Uh, mm. The cookies, uh, villagers are saying, oh, these are the people who are protecting us, uh, which includes some people who are part of uh, erstwhile uh, groups which are now in suspension of operation. There is, uh, there is uh, massive recruitment going on on both sides. Uh, I was reading somewhere that uh, among the cookies, boys as young as 13, 14 are getting recruited. Mm. And so the reason obviously this intel is available. Yeah, yeah. And the reason they are giving is if uh, these young boys get arrested, he, because he's a minor, he won't be jailed for a very long mm. time. Okay. I mean, so... Just uh, naxals karte the. Uh, so, uh, I mean, really, uh, and I, I don't see if uh, the state takes a decision that these groups will be disarmed and these armed uh, cadre will be sort of disbanded or... If you were the military uh, advisor to the Home Ministry, what would your advice be? This would be my advice. I mean, you need to, you need to re-establish law and order and control over the state yourself. And how? You have enough security forces. I mean... You think deployment saying, is enough? Deployment plus the fact that if you have to take some hard action, uh, then you take hard action. Okay. I'm, I'm saying, I mean, can you imagine this happening anywhere else? This has been know? going on since 2023. Yeah. Uh, if hard action uh, had to be taken, it could have been taken is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, but now with, uh, I'm, now let me just go a little political on this. Mm -hmm. With depleted numbers... Uh, in the Lok Sabha, do you think that uh, the government uh, and subsequent elections happening in JNK and the terror uh, increase in terror attacks in JNK too, uh, do you think that the government uh, is playing a wait and watch or a game of attrition in Manipur? No, I, I don't think the game of attrition is going to help in any way. It is only going to sharpen the divide that is already existing. And you are going to make finding solutions more and more difficult. So, uh, whether whether depleted numbers or not, Smita, this this is a matter of national security. You, you see, let's let's look at uh, Manipur and then see it's having an impact on Mizoram. You now have the NSC and I am saying uh, we want an independent constitution flag that was promised to us and the yeah. 2015 accord. If it is not exercised, then we will go back and pick up arms. You have a problem in Myanmar, which is happening. So, I mean, let's not look at this in isolation. We've also had in the past uh, Manipur-based groups and their leadership uh, being based in Bangladesh. Mm. Uh, and now, now you again, have a regime there. Now, now you have a regime there. Yeah. So I think which it's important not. and quick. Uh, for example, uh, the UNLF, ex-UNLF chief, R.K. Megan, he was picked up from Bangladesh. He was based mm. in Bangladesh. Mm. That's not going to happen anymore, that kind of cooperation. Yeah, so yeah, I'm saying so, uh, you know, look at the whole region uh, and see what's what churn is going on. Mm. And let's not look at Manipur uh, 
purely in isolation, which is why I'm saying I think it's it's best that we get the situation there under control. Uh, will it? Will there be some cost? Yes. Will Will it be tough? Yes. Uh, it will be the way these groups have got encouraged now. But it's not as if you cannot re-establish mm -hmm. the authority of the state. I mean, the Indian state has enough resources to be able yes. to. Click here to watch the full episode.